Hey guys, the Pin Inspiration Hub here. So if you participated in the testnet where you spin up your node on the VPS, I'm gonna make a quick tutorial to teach you how you can migrate your node from the testnet to the mainnet. So what you have to realize is that um, so now the testnet operations um, have had been on Arbitrum Sepolia, but we know that the mainnet operation is gonna be on Arbitrum main. So you're gonna have to now connect your wallet to Arbitrum main. Now the good thing is that when you connect your wallet to the console, it's automatically going to detect um, and switch your wallet to the Arbitrum main network. So I'm going to first click on connect wallet. I'm just going to go to MetaMask and I'm going to choose the account that has my NFT and I'm going to click on next and then I'm going to confirm the transaction and I'm going to sign the transaction. So what you see here is that all the test net result rewards that you had um, are cleared. This is normal. It's because none of the tokens from the test net was transferred to the mainnet. So what you would also realize is that when you come under license, your license is now free because we have now switched from the test net to the mainnet. Now to move our node from the test net um, to the mainnet, all you're going to have to do is to redelegate your node. So we're going to go to the console and I'm going to show you how you're going to do this. So now I'm logged in into my console. I believe if you've participated in the test net, you know how to log in into your console. So I'm going to skip that option. Now there are a few things that I'm going to do here before um, I start to apply um, the updates. So you can see in my case, maybe in your case, it's not going to be the same have a notification that I have to restart the system and I also have a notification that there are some updates I can install. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the new updates that are available. Now to do this you're going to use this I'm going to paste this command I'm also going to provide this a link to these commands so that I can just put it in there so sudo apt get upgrade it's basically going to update all the repositories that needs to be updated. So here it's going to ask you do you want to continue I'm going to press y and I'm going to press enter and then basically it's going to update my Ubuntu software to the latest or to, to apply the latest updates that are available. Okay, so in my case, I have this um, notification that I have to have this a panel kernel upgrade Um, just press enter because this would select the OK. And then I'm basically going to press enter here to select which services that I want to reboot Um, just press tab to go to OK. So I want to load the system manager and I also want to load the, the services that are chosen by default. So just press tab to move through this option and just press OK. And then basically you can see that the services um, are restarted. Now that the update that I did is not mandatory, you can decide whether you want to do this or not. Now what I would suggest that you do, also this is not mandatory, is to reboot your server so that we start from a completely um, fresh start. So to do reboot, just type sudo reboot and basically this is going to reboot your server. And then what you will see is that the console is going to be disconnected. So just wait a few minutes, about five to 10 minutes um, for the server to completely reboot it. As well, this is not mandatory, but I just like to do it because um, I just applied this new update. So my server is completely rebooted now. Now then the nice thing that I like about the recent updates that it pushed out is that the ATA checker node service automatically starts when you reboot your server that you don't even have to go into the application to launch this. If you want to be sure that it's running, just type in the command PS minus E and then just press enter and then basically look for the, the process that is called ATA checker SE. So I'm just going to look for this. Yeah, so you see it here. So this is the process ID 628. So you see that is the ATA checker SE. Um, this is the service that is going to make sure that your node is going to be always running even when you reboot your server, which I find um, to be pretty good. Now, what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to delegate on the owner portal. If you already know um, what your banner wallet address is, it's very easy. Just come here and then basically click on delegate, paste in your banner wallet address and then you can do the delegation. If you do not know what your banner wallet address is, I'm going to give you a few commands where we're going to launch the client application. And then from the client application, we can find out what our banner wallet address is. Now, what we're going to do, if you've been following my tutorials for now, I like to run the application in the screen. So I'm going to first create a screen that is called ATA. So I'm just going to paste this command here. So this command is screen space minus S ATA. I'm also going to provide these commands for you. And I'm going to press enter. And then this is basically going to create a new space where I can launch the application. Now I'm gonna type ls to see what the folder name in my case is. So it's ATR checker CLI minus EU. So I'm gonna change into that directory. Now to change into the directory, what I'm gonna need is I'm gonna type in the command here. I'm just gonna type CD right space and I'm gonna copy what the folder name is. So don't copy the red one. The red one is a zipped file. 
gonna copy this here and I'm gonna paste this in here and I'm just gonna press enter and then you see that it changes so basically I have now entered that directory now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna launch the application if you want to find out what the name of the application is just type ls and then this is basically going to show you what the contents that I have in the program is so you see that we have the ATI checker CLI we have the service that is running we have the install command that you already installed when you were running the, the latest version of the application to start the application the clients what we're going to run is the ATI checker clients now um, people were asking what is the difference between the two so like I said the ATI checker service is basically the application or the service that is going to make sure that the checker node is always going to be running in the background even when you restart the PC and the ATI checker client is basically where you do everything that has to do with the node delegation while it's um, accepting delegation on delegation and stuff like that now to launch the application we're going to use that command here so sudo I can copy this command here I'm going to paste this I'm also going to provide a command for you so you can have an easy install so just press this to launch the application and then now we are in the application and what you can see is that the application automatically detected that we have a wallet that is why you have this command this uh, message here wallet auto login success now to find out what your wallet address is just type in the command eight here wallet export sorry wallet export and then press enter and it's basically going to spit out what your private key and your public key is now what we need is we're going to need our public key so i'm just going to double click to this i'm going to copy the public key and i'm going to go to the owner portal and i'm going to delegate so to delegate make sure that you have some eat on arbitrum because the gas fee so because everything is on the arbitrum sepolia you're going to be paying um with eat for the gas fee so i'm now going to log in into my wallet so that i can do the delegation so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on delegate and I'm going to paste in my banner address and just click on delegate. So um, because it's on Arbitrum, like I said, we're going to pay some gas fees, but the uh, gas fees on Arbitrum are typically way lower than on Ethereum mainnet. So here it's about 19 cents. Actually in the morning it was about 11 cents. I think it's going up a bit, but that's still fine. I'm going to click on confirm and then I'm going to wait for my delegation status to change from free to pending. I'm going to refresh this still not ready i'll just give it a minute to see if the status is going to change okay so it took about two to three minutes so now i refresh the page and you see that my delegation status is pending now what we're going to have to do is to go into the console and accept the delegation so now we are in the console all you have to do is to put in the command so this is the command athia license approve all i'm also going to provide this command to you and then just press enter and then you would see that it's going to accept the delegation so in my case i have one license so it's a very very easy to do so if you have multiple licenses basically this command is going to approve all the pending delegations that you have now if you want to make sure that everything is working on the client's end you can just type athia sorry athia oops athia wallets sorry license summary license summary and would basically give you an overview of everything that is happening with respect to your licenses. So you can see here, I have zero check-in. So whether your node is on check-in already, don't get worried. Ready means that your node is online and is currently waiting for a checker tax. Check-in means that your node is also online and actively performing a checker tax. Both of them are fine. So whether you're on ready at the point is going to switch from ready to check-in. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the console and I'm going to refresh the page. And then you see that my node status has changed from um so pending so previously was pending so now it's completely delegated and the running status is ready so at this point that said you can close the console and then basically your node would be up and running what i always recommend is that before you leave the console minimize the screen by just pressing ctrl a leave the keyboard and press d if you want to get back into the application next time you can just type screen minus r and then this would bring you back into the application so i'm just going to minimize the screen and then that's it for the update so thanks for watching this video if you have any questions just reach out to me on twitter at dependence Bira hub and on telegram you can also reach me directly with the username dependence inspiration hub so also follow me on on, on twitter so that you'll get all the posts that i'll be posting with respect to updates or with respect to the entire the pin space thanks for watching this video if you have any questions like i said you can put this in the comment section or you can reach out to me on discord like the video subscribe to my channel for more like this thanks and see you in the next one bye